Hi everyone, it's Elisa here. I'm just going to show you um, a quick way of um, using your envelopes on the jelly plate. So um, here are some that I printed earlier, getting some good patterns on top of our envelopes. And then we can put together an envelope journal using your jelly printed envelopes. So some of the patterns you may um, recognize, I'll be using paper artsy stencils and stamps, um, also some other um, stamps from um, Scrap Matrix. So there's a nice pattern one, that could probably be our cover. So I've just pulled out a whole lot of um, white envelopes all around the same size. So I'm just going to take you through um, just a few prints from the gel plate using uh, fresco finish paints from Paper Artsy. Um, let's lay down a foundation colour first. Our envelope. Put that to the side. Can either layer another colour on top. This one's butternut. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to lay down one of our paper artsy stencils. Don't need that much paint. So I'm just going to pull that gently off. You can see it's left a nice print behind. And we're going to print that onto the front. While it's still wet, let's keep printing. And while that's still wet, let's see what other stencils. So this one's like a Mandela sort of doily stencil.
Okay, so you just pick that up. Got a nice print left over. Just going to print half of the Mandela. That's pretty. Getting a nice boho sort of look on it now. These are the new ones by Paper Artsy. Might have seen Tracy use these when she was over in Australia. If you feel like you might have loaded a little bit too much paint on, that's okay. Just grab an extra couple of envelopes and pull your first print and then come back to it. So what we're going to do is just gently lift those up. the jelly plate it's really a lot of it is just a lot of practice pulling your prints and trying different things if you're not completely satisfied with them just keep trying and envelopes are a great cheap way of practicing your prints Experiment with different paints as well because I've found that some of the paints don't work as well. Now don't worry if some of these feel like they need more. I'm just going to let them all dry and then we'll put our envelope journal together and then I can show you how you can jazz them up. And don't forget to reuse some of those wet stencils. You can still get some great patterns. This one's a tangerine twist. It's more of a translucent paint from Paparazzi. Should get fill in the patterns quite nicely though, so you can see them. Yep. Okay, another way of doing things as well, I'll just show you quickly, you can make marks in your paint. So put a nice layer of paint on your gel plate. Don't be too concerned if you've got another layer of paint underneath. Now using something soft because you don't want to use something hard and it will wreck your gel plate. 
dots or even just your finger. You can make marks. Or the soft end of a paintbrush or marker. So you can imagine putting a leaf in there as well. Quite like the patterns in that, so And that's it for me at the moment. I'll be back to show you when I've put it together. Hi everyone, I'm back. So this is one of the envelope journals I've put together with my gel um, prints um, on my envelopes. So using the uh, techniques I showed you before on putting the envelopes together, you can see that I've used a circle punch and that can make a great um, pocket to place something. You can also use the punch bits for tabs. So you've got some perfect pages there to do some work on, add some stamping. You've got pockets here on either side to add memorabilia or tickets or love letters or letters of any kind. Um, letters to yourself, favourite quotes, really anything your mind um, can come up with. Here's another pocket down here as well. And that's that um, Mandela stencil. Okay, so that's my take on it using an envelope journal. And to finish that off, I'm going to add some nice thick twine through the centre and tie it off on the side here and maybe some really lovely beads and whatnot to make a nice little boho journal. This could be given as a gift as well. Um, I'm just going to show you a few techniques that you can do to add to that journal, okay? So you've got some plain white tissue paper. You can give it a bit of an iron if you like beforehand. Uh, mine's a bit crinkly, but that's okay. So just using a nice archival ink pad, we're just inking up one of our nice stamps. You might recognize this um, from the recent Tracy Scott visit. A beautiful new set. Bought that from... Um, Oh, scrap matrix. So what we're doing is just stamping onto our tissue paper. Let that dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, fussy cut that out once it's dry. And then while we're waiting for that to dry, I'll just show you another cool little technique that we can use while we're sitting here. So another one of the little stencils. Get a black ink pad and a sponge dabber or a distress tool. And ink through. You could also grab like a texture stencil. This one, as you can see, is well used. It's one of my um, All and Create stencils. Add some details to your page. A great way of adding details to your page without creating bulk. Alright, 
can also add a title using a word stencil. So what we're going to do now, instead of you guys watching me cut that out, I have a couple of flowers cut out, hiding around. Now if you don't have a proper decoupage glue, I just like to use a... Um, gently use a uh, glue stick. It stops all the crinkling. And because it's tissue paper you can see all the colors from your jelly print come through. So that's starting to be a good base for a page. So I could add something else on that, I can draw on that, um, anything I want. So that's it from me for the moment. I'll come back and show you the finished results soon of my front page. While I have you, I just wanted to show you the finished result of a shabby chic, if you like, um, journal that I made out of envelopes with lace and the Stamperia Blues collection, paper collection and a few of the little postage wood veneer from Scrap Matrix as well, um, some twine so you can make yourself a nice little journal. You can see that you just undo it. And you've got all these pages in here that you can paint, add letters in there, etc. Nice little handmade journal gifts. And that's it for me for the moment.